Welcome to the Nella Frame Mounting video. This is the stand that we use for holding the frame. You can also have the frame on your lap. This frame is good for punch hooking with the Danella tool or the speed needle and other punch hooking needles. Notice the narrow grooves that are found on each part of the frame. So you take the four parts and uh, put them together like this. And then you bring your backing or your canvas. We use Hessian. So you have these four bars with holes, uh, where you have a lot of holes in them for each nail, and they then get attached uh, in that narrow groove in the frame parts. So she can find those places because the uh, the holes in the in these thin parts are on a line. So it takes a little time, but then you want you'll be sure that you won't rip any loops when you use this method. The nails can be added to ready hooked parts too. If your work is larger than the frame, you move the frame around on the work. You can make your backing very taut and that makes it uh, easier to sew with the Danella tool. So she takes the mid nail first and then the sides and you find that little narrow groove. You have to follow the threads in the canvas uh, somewhat closely. So you have to think about the canvas should be straight and not in an angle. I will just quote from Gloria E. Krause's book. To ensure successful and enjoyable hooking, the backing must be stretched onto the frame as tight and as straight as possible. Controlling the loops in hooking is very difficult on a slack foundation, and it's a constant challenge to keep the backing as taut as possible. In fact, the backing can never be stretched too tight. And this is exactly what the Danella frames solve.
Now she is adding the four splits. Uh, they are not really necessary at this moment because the um, the Hessian is now is well taught. Uh, and but a little later when she starts sewing, she will need them them to to make it taut again.